of whom I am the chief. What a wonderful verse. It says in uh, 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 15, This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the chief. The question is, why did Jesus Christ uh, come into the world? What was cre Jesus Christ's mission? Why did he come? Some people say he came to uh, sort out politics, to, to sort out the, the political times, but he never really got involved in politics. He, he, ke he kept away from politics, really. So, why did Jesus come? He didn't come for politics. Uh, philosophy. The Greeks like philosophy. Did Jesus come to just talk about philosophy? No. He didn't come about philosophy. He never sat down and talked about philosophy. What about religion? Did he come to set up a new religion? Well, he had a lot to say about the religious leaders of his day because they were Pharisees. In other words, they were hypocritical and putting people in bondage. Jesus Christ did not come for politics did not come to set up a religion or to start a new philosophy he came to redeem people it says Jesus Christ came to save sinners of whom I am the chief and the reason why Christ came is he came to save sinners now sin is a poison in the world sin is a poison in the world sin is rebellion against God's word it's the breaking of God's commandments God says, do not lie, do not steal, do not commit adultery, honor your father and mother, honor the Sabbath day, do not covet your neighbor's house, your neighbor's wife. The Ten Commandments are from God, and God gave the Ten Commandments, and mankind rebels against those commandments, tramples on those commandments, and rejects those commandments, and the Bible calls it sin. And every one of us is a sinner. You're a sinner, I'm a sinner. We all break the commandments of God. And we all do it. Every single one of us breaks the commandments of God. And so we're sinners. We, we're sinners because we break the law of God. We break the commandments of God. But Jesus Christ... I had... John, how you doing, bro? Good to see you. But Jesus Christ... Jesus Christ came to save sinners. He came to save sinners. Now Paul... Paul... Was a, Paul was a murderer. Paul went around murdering people. The Apostle Paul was uh, a, a bit of a bigot when he, before he got converted. He ran around and he was killing Christians, murdering Christians. Everywhere he went, he was torturing Christians. And one day in Acts chapter 9, on the road to Damascus, he had a vision of Christ and he, and he got down on his knees and he realized that he was a sinner. And he said, I'm the chief of sinners. He realized that he'd broken the law of God. Thou shalt not murder. But he realized that Christ had died for his murder. That Christ had shed his blood for his murder. That Christ had taken the punishment for his murder. That when Christ was on that cross, he was dying for Paul the murderer. He shed his blood for Paul the murderer and gave Paul the murderer hope and forgiveness and grace and the love of God on that cross. For Christ died for the Apostle Paul. And Paul says we preach Christ crucified. Foolishness to the Greeks and foolishness to the Jews. But when Christ died on that cross, he not only died for the Apostle Paul, he died for you on that cross. Everything that you did wrong Everything that you did wrong and you'll have to pay back to God on judgment day, Christ paid the debt for you. The Bible says he was a ransom. The Bible says I give my life a ransom for many. The Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. The Bible says come to me all you who are weak and heavy laden and I will give you rest. The Bible says, uh, if you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you shall be saved. The Bible says 
that now is the day of salvation. The Bible says that he was bruised for our iniquities. The Bible says the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. The Bible says repent, turn away from sin and turn to Christ. The Bible says, the Bible says, God demonstrates his own love to us that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's what the Bible says. The Bible is the roadmap to heaven. The Bible shares the love of God to us. The Bible tells us who Christ is. The Bible is the living manner of God. The Bible is the word of God that will feed your soul. And the Bible teaches how to get to heaven. And that is by telling us that we are all sinners. That all fall short of the glory of God. That everyone is heading for hell if they do not repent and believe on Jesus Christ the Lord.